Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A man and woman were killed in a boat crash Saturday at Lake Mead. The crash occurred around 7.30 p.m. and the driver of the other boat involved in the crash was arrested on charges of operating a boat under the influence. No names were provided of the people involved in the incident. A bicyclist died after being struck by a stolen vehicle that was fleeing from another crash Monday morning. The stolen vehicle was being driven by a minor who was associated with several other vehicle thefts throughout the morning. The minor was arrested and the bicyclist was identified as a 64-year-old man. A nine-year-old boy suffered life-threatening injuries Sunday when he was riding an off-road motorcycle. He was riding on the sidewalk of Capistrano Avenue east of Burnham Avenue without any protective gear, according to police. He was taken to the hospital and is in critical condition. And a $10,000 reward is being offered by the FBI for an alleged homicide suspect. Oswald Perez Sanchez is a 5'9", 190-pound Hispanic man with tattoos on his chest. He is accused of multiple charges, including the alleged killing of his girlfriend, Tabitha Tozzi, on April 22nd at her home in Las Vegas. If you have any info, contact your local FBI office. The 45-member Nevada Task Force One team has been conducting response and recovery missions in Maui for the past few days. In an emailed statement, Clark County Fire Department said that the team is in good spirits and honored to be assisting the state of Hawaii. The death toll from the fires has officially reached 93 as of Sunday afternoon, with an unknown number of missing people. Clark County's Find My Forever campaign is officially launching. Review Journal's Rosanna Romero has details. We are very excited to join Clark County's Find My Forever campaign launching today, where every month we will introduce you to a child, teen, or group of siblings that are looking for their forever home, like Paul. I like to have a family that's not mean to me because I've been with a lot of families that have been mean to me and hurt me and stuff. My name is Paul and I'm 12. He's just a really fun kid who deserves uh, a permanent home once and for all. I want to give money to charity people and help them create a world that people can have homes and stuff and help people and, and give people cars. To see Paul's complete story, I invite you to go to our channel here on YouTube. Look for Las Vegas Review Journal en Español. If you are interested in adopting a child future in Find My Forever profile, please email the county's team at the address shown on your screen. Rene, back to you. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly sunny skies and light winds is in your forecast for today. Today's high is reaching around 104 degrees. Tonight, a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms with partly cloudy skies, light winds, evening lows around 86 degrees. For the rest of the week, similar conditions with slight chances of isolated showers in parts of the valley, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Daytime highs in the low 100s, evening lows in the mid 80s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, according to a new report on housing and population in Clark County, roughly 115 people are moving to the county every day, and it's starting to put a strain on residential home availability. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more on this report. Clark County is short 85,000 affordable housing units. That's according to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, which is taking note as government leaders and industry executives make moves on new measures to ease the problem for Las Vegas for the years ahead. According to new projections from a UNLV report, the Southern Nevada area is expected to surpass 3 million before 2050. And that's a number that's pushing Clark County to invest $70 million in funding affordable homes in its Welcome Home Project, expected to build and maintain 3,000 affordable units. Though there is some change in strategy, the report indicates Las Vegas is due to see an uptick in high-income, college-educated workers moving to Las Vegas. For the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm James Shaver. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Following the Raiders' 34-7 win over the 49ers on Sunday, the team flew straight to Los Angeles ahead of their slated joint practices with the Rams. Head coach Josh McDaniel spoke on what benefits the team can take away from them. We'd like to you know, continue to improve um, 
as a team in, in each phase. I think that's the most important thing against a good team uh, that's very well coached, you know, with different schematic challenges. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Over 2,000 jobs will be available at Healthcare Career Fair. The Employee Envy Business Hub of Southern Nevada, in partnership with the College of Southern Nevada, is holding a Healthcare Career Fair on Thursday, August 17th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The event will happen at the School of Health Sciences K Building at 6375 West Charleston Boulevard. Dozens of healthcare employers will be available, and some will interview and hire on the spot. Registration is encouraged at the link on your screen. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Blue Jays are the plus 180 favorites to be the last team in the American League playoffs as the third wild card. The Mariners are plus 350 at Caesars Sportsbook to be the third wild card, followed by the Astros at plus 450, the Red Sox at 6 to 1, and the Rangers at 7 to 1. In the National League, the Giants are the 3 to 1 favorites to be the last team in the playoffs followed by the Cubs at plus 350 and the Marlins at 4 to 1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Review Journal's John Katzlamides has the latest in Las Vegas entertainment news. Kylie Minogue has extended her commitment at the Venetian for Voltaire by 10 dates. That means she's going to be performing at the night spot through May of next year. Daryl Hall and the Daryl's House Band is playing November 8th at the Venetian Theater. Should be a great show from the co-founder of Hall & Oates. We spent quality time with Carrot Top and the cast of the adult review Fantasy at Liberace's Garage. Use your imagination or not. You can just read my column. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.